Welcome to Coffee with Dr. A. Today we're going to be talking about our Armani policy that was recently implemented and the economic opportunities that it presents. We often think that the future belongs to the youth of Oman, which is true. Today, I'm going to tell you how Oman's retirement policy has created a group of retirees that are a valuable resource to Oman and we could utilize them to build a new Omani economy. Most are relatively young, have a wealth of experience and skills, and most importantly, have relatively more stable financial foundation. How can the retirees help? First, let's talk about the problem Oman faced, the policy implemented, opportunities it created, and we can talk about some possible short run and long run challenges that we must keep in mind. The problem? The problem that Oman faced is low oil prices coupled with increased spending over the past decade have put Oman in a fiscal corner. The 2020 budget had forecasted an 11% deficit and that's before oil prices plummeted and the pandemic took hold. The government responded aggressively with changes in the structure of the government and reduced spending. Although revenues are down, so is spending, which has led to a decrease in the projected deficit from 11% to 8% in 2020. Several policies have been implemented. Today, we're talking about the enforcement of the retirement age in the government sector. So what's the policy? The policy, one of the biggest expenses that the government faces is the government wage bill. Historically, the main employer in Oman is the government. The wage bill has been increasing drastically over the past decade as new labor force participants are absorbed, but older employees were not leaving. One of the policies to help reduce the wage bill and may allow for the new labor to enter the market is to adjust and enforce the retirement policy. Oman has always had a retirement age for government civilian workers of 60 years. However, it was not enforced aggressively. The new policy mandates and enforces the 60 year retirement age and also implements a 30 year of service maximum, which turns out to be more binding than the 60 year age requirement. If the average Omani starts working at the age of 24, 30 years of service would put them at 54. The government is able to replace the experienced employee with a new employee. This benefit reduces the pressure on the job seeking market and may allow the government to hire a new employee at a lower wage and therefore reduce the wage bill. During 2020, there will be several thousand government employees that will be retired, most with vast knowledge expertise, and most importantly, are still relatively young, where they can utilize that experience to generate new income and help develop the Omani economy. The opportunity that presents itself? I believe the entrepreneurial landscape should target new retirees. The retirees are perfect candidates to start new ventures and help develop Oman's private sector. They have an established financial foundation. As pension earners, they are more liquid than those starting their financial lives out. They are also more likely to have a capital base, which is important to start new ventures. They also have established networks. Finally, and most importantly, they have the expertise to identify gaps in the market for new business opportunities. This is what I want to communicate to the retirees. The retirees are a great asset for the Omani entrepreneurial ecosystem. Oman needs you as much after retirement as it did while you served the government. Each business you create can help employ new graduates and serves towards diversifying the Omani economy. The challenges? The challenges presented here is the psychological expectation of what retirement means. Often it is perceived as the end of service. It should be considered a celebration, an end of one career and a start of another. Retirement should be welcomed with excitement. 
It is the beginning of your life. Now you get to define what you want to do going forward. The other challenge that applies here is that the retirees have been government employees for years. Shifting their mindset to entrepreneurial ventures might not be as easy as I present here. This is where the role of entrepreneurship education and programs to increase entrepreneurial intentions need to exist. For those of us that operate in this segment of the market, like me, this is an opportunity for us to provide entrepreneurship education for new retirees. Finally, a challenge that we need to keep in mind about the retirement policy is that it solves a short run problem, but creates a long run problem with respect to pensions. We are shifting employees to retirees. We are reducing the wage bill, but increasing pension costs. So we need to keep that in mind. To all recent retirees, if entrepreneurship is not of interest for you, and I understand you put your service, you can be an investor, serve as a consultant, or even a mentor. I want to thank you for your service. We all appreciate you. If you choose to, we still need your help. Let's work together to diversify the economy. What business would you want to start?